Hi guys, welcome to ADFS. I'm Dr. Lakshmi. Today we'll be discussing about three things which every dentist should know before opening clinic. But before proceeding further, kindly like and subscribe us and share with as many dentists as possible, especially the junior dentist who are just opening the clinic or have just planning to open clinic. They will benefit maximum from such videos, especially today's topic. So proceeding with today's video uh, where we will be discussing about three things every dentist should know before opening clinic are rather the three things which I feel that I should have known or I wished I had known before I started my clinic. So there are many things which are there. I'm not saying that these three are the only things, but these three are among the other things which are there. So let's discuss about that today. First thing, online presence is not an option, it is necessary. So online presence, uh, we usually neglect. We usually neglect anything investment or anything regarding the online stuff. We'll keep it for the last. We'll invest in the infrastructure, we'll invest in the clinic, we'll invest in the board, we'll invest in a lot of machineries and everything. But when it comes to online, we are super hesitant. Is it? Everybody is like that usually, right? So always think that the online presence is not an option, it is necessary because it helps you build the digital board. I'll tell you what it is. Let me explain it further. When you set up your clinic, uh, your shop, why do you put the physical board? We create or we put the physical board so that any people who are walking on the street or the patients who are searching for dentist or uh, who are coming to the adjacent shops, they all see that there is a dental clinic over here. The shop is a dental clinic, right? That is what we want. We want people to notice us. We want them to remember us that there's a dental clinic in that lane. So that will help us get more patients, get more walk-ins, right? Similarly, in majority of the cities and towns right now, people are searching for dentists or doctors online. They are searching dentist near me, either or they are searching in plant dentist if they want any specific like uh, braces doctors or anything, something. So, but they are searching about dentist online. And when they are searching about us, if we don't have a digital presence, online presence, that means we don't have a digital board where they can see us, they can find us, right? They won't be able to find us because we don't have a presence at all in the online platform. That is why it is important. And if you are especially in a place where there are a lot of people who are searching online, never miss that opportunity. That will fetch you a lot of patience from starting itself. Even if you don't have any re reviews, it's okay, but that will help you get patience. Don't think that let me start first in the physical format and later on we'll go move into the online one. Then your success will be definitely delayed by few months. So rather than that, start it from the day one. Day one you have created and you have put the board, right? On your show, shop, same scenario is you should have a digital board. You should have an online presence. It's not an option, it is necessary. And especially during this time, during this Corona time, it has become all the more important because people are looking online for everything. They are, won't physically walk in the street and see, okay, there's a dental clinic there, I'll go there. They won't do it. They'll search, they'll find a place, they'll go there, get the treatment done and come back. So that has, the Corona has created all the more that this is more important there and than anything else. So always remember online or whatever money you're investing online, for, let it be for anything always think of it as an investment and think you'll get patience from that. That is why you're investing. Other thing is, there are so many things in online also which we can do, which is free, like uh, your Google map, your Google My Business, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, um, what else? I, I, I can remember all these things right now. There's so many things which are free, of course, which you can do it by yourself. Then why not start with that? 
start with that first and later on keep on investing in the online platform don't ever let it stagnate if you let it be inactive for quite a long time you will not be able to be visible for the um, the people who are searching for you it's same as you have to keep on upgrading yourself right your clinic and everything the board if it's not looking nice you have to do something maybe change into led or something right similarly you have to invest time to be active in the online platform so that your digital board will be active majority time so that is the first thing which i would um, tell all the dentists that they should know before they start the clinic is online presence is not an option it is necessary second thing is how do you maintain records in your clinic that is also very important now uh, the gone are those days when we used to have those you know papers and all where we have written and then we uh, will keep those things in the cupboard and all that, that that scenario that era is gone in fact try to do the record maintenance online because if you may feel that okay i'll start with the offline and then slowly shift to the online scenario but trust me i have done that it is total waste of time and it takes double the amount of effort to change something once the system is set in your clinic it's easy to continue that but when you are changing that to another system it's very difficult so start doing the record maintenance online and another thing about record maintenance is it is very much useful for a lot of scenarios like it um, um, it helps you to understand what kind of patients you are having like if the patient record data is there then uh, you'll understand that uh, the public or the pa your patients majority are the young crowd if if it is young crowd then you may have to promote those kind of treatment then you have to approach the marketing in such kind of ways imagine i'll give you an example imagine you are doing lot of camps in your clinic i mean in your vicinity and those camps you are doing it in uh, some preschools but majority of your patient flow is bachelor and they are working in an office so does it help you doing the camp in the preschool not much right similarly you when you record data the expense data the revenue data there are a lot of things a lot of insight which we get which we can use for our marketing and our future planning like i'll give you one more example if you had recorded your expenses nicely then during this corona time you would have be it would have been easily easy for you to understand where to cut cost how to cut your revenue how to cut your expenses so that you will be able to survive these tough times easily so that is the kind of help which record maintenance has and if you don't have the record and you feel that at that time you start recording the data it won't work <laughs> you lose time and uh, you lose energy in it so that second thing is that uh, this thing which i want to tell you is record maintenance give it a lot of importance it is important for your clinic success how you record your data is important and what you record is also important kindly comment below and let us know how you record data in your clinic and what what method did you find it useful i know majority of us um, have started doing the offline online thing nowadays and it takes time you must have experienced it it takes time for you to teach your staff how to do it how to enter these data especially the patient data the x rays and everything how to enter those details and those things are very useful these, these are minute things but once you teach them once you encourage them and set up a system in your clinic it's very easy to continue it's very difficult to change one system to another many of you must have experienced the same thing kindly comment below and let us know how it was for you what kind of uh, recording may how you record your data and when you were shifting from offline to online how did you find it we would love to know that so that is the second thing which i would say is important that is the record maintenance how you maintain your record is important and follow it from the starting itself 
don't think about changing it later on. So that's the second thing. Now let's proceed with the third point. Third thing is never neglect emergency fund. Now we think about so many ways of so many uh, things to invest in our clinic for RVG, maybe microscope, maybe laser, maybe something else. So many fancy, fancy things, right? But how many of you had given thought to the emergency fund creation? We don't think much, right? We will think, okay, we'll do it. Eventually when we start earning, we'll start saving it, but it doesn't work that way. When you, if, if you had planned some money, maybe imagine you have five lakhs and you have set up your clinic in three lakh itself. You have two lakh of excess and you think about investing in some uh, fancy machineries and all. Rather than that, I would say, first keep aside your emergency fund and then whatever is left, you can go ahead and start investing in your clinic. I'll tell you one personal example, which uh, made me think and mean me thank god that i had planned the emergency fund at that time once uh, there was a scenario when um, i was pregnant and unfortunately for some reason i was advised total complete bed rest and i was not able to work in the clinic for one or two months and during that time the dentist whom i have hired she also had some medical emergency and had to take a break of around one or two months. So unfortunately, both of this medical condition fell, fell on the same day, same time, in fact. So same for one or two months, there was no doctors available in my clinic. I couldn't do anything. I was totally bed, at bed rest. And at that time also hiring was also difficult because I have to go and meet them before hiring. So everything was gone for a toss. But luckily, with the patient support, definitely, they supported me a lot during that time. But also, I had planned this emergency fund. So I know that, okay, the clinic will run, the salaries and the rent, everything is not a problem. Even if for two months, I'm taking a break with no patients and no working, no treatments, I will be able to survive. That gave me confidence to survive that period during that bed rest in the pregnancy also. So that, okay, nothing is to be worried about. I have money so that my clinic expenses are taken care of. If I had that add-on uh, you know, tension at that time, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy my pregnancy also. And also at the same time, it would have been tough for me to survive in the clinic. So that is something which I feel um, it's it helped me and that you should plan beforehand itself. Emergency fund is very important. As important as you feel your uh, clinic look is, your machinery is, RVG and all those things are, invest equally in the emergency fund also. It will help you at the time when you require it the most. It has helped a lot of people during this corona time. And we have actually made a series about emergency fund that how to create it, what to create it, how much to save in the emergency fund. That is also a question because during Corona time, many dentists face this issue that the amount which they anticipated, which they will require at the time of emergency was far less from what it was actually needed during the Corona time. So that is also equally important amount you have saved in the emergency fund. So, I would really recommend you that from the start itself, when you are keeping aside money and doing all the uh, interiors and everything, keep aside some money for the emergency fund also. So these are the three things which I would um, tell all the ju uh, juniors and dentists who are opening the clinic. Kindly remember these three things. First is, Online presence is not an option, it is necessary. Second, record maintenance is very important. Third, never neglect emergency fund. These are the three things. Keep in mind, there are a lot more things to it. I'm not saying these are the only three, day, three things which are there, but always uh, remember these three things at least. I hope you liked today's video. Best of luck for creating your uh, clinic.
Thank you so much, guys. Until next time, bye. Don't forget to send us a hi on this number. We'll add you to the special broadcast list. Thank you. Thank you.